In this video, I'll give you an overview of how to use the ActiveCampaign Deal CRM to automate tasks for your sales team and help them close more deals. I'm Jason, Growth Specialist at Wildmail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for Europe-based businesses. Let's dive in. So before I show you how to use the ActiveCampaign Deal CRM, let's talk about what the Deal CRM is and what it's made up of. The CRM is made up of pipelines, and in sales, these are the processes or journeys that a customer goes from being a lead to converting, and those pipelines are made up of stages. So you can see this here. We'll dive back into this in just a second, but this is a, an example pipeline with the default stages that ActiveCampaign shares with you. You can click and drag these cards, and then in these pipelines, we have deals, and the deals are records for contacts that have entered your pipeline and they're on track to converting, okay? And this helps you identify qualified leads versus the rest of the contacts that have come into your uh, marketing CRM, your, your overall contact list inside ActiveCampaign um, because this is something that you would define internally. So for ourselves, maybe we're only creating uh, deals when someone has booked a call, whereas another business might uh, create a deal when someone has opted in for email communication, they've downloaded a PDF, they've watched a, a VSL. Uh, it's gonna depend on your business and your marketing and sales strategy, your, your funnel. Okay, we'll go over this in just a second as well. Now, the CRM as a whole is the database with all of these contacts, their deals, and these pipelines so that you can view the customer journey from lead to conversion and then help automate processes for your sales and your marketing teams. And with Active Campaign, the best part is that it breaks down barriers uh, between the sales and marketing department. They can work together, share the same information, and then have a great feedback loop between the two departments uh, to help the business improve as a whole and to ultimately help you uh, build and maintain better relationships with your customers. So inside Active Campaign, uh, this here is a demo pipeline, as I mentioned, and you've got the different stages to contact, in contact, and follow up. So this would be that still need to be contacted, those that have you know been contacted and those that are in the follow-up process. What we're gonna do is first, I'm going to show you how to build your pipeline. Next, I'm gonna show you how to add deals. And then I'm gonna show you how we would automate uh, some of the processes for our sales team. We have to have an understanding of our customer journey uh, and our funnel, our, our marketing and sales system. And so maybe you've got a map that's drawn out like this. This is just a, a basic example. You've got traffic coming in, they opt in, give their email. We have a basic email sequence. Uh, maybe they, they uh, then go on to watch a VSL and we're trying to push them to book a call and then close as a client. We've also got social content down here. Uh, we put out, as you can see here, you're on YouTube. We put out uh, a lot of YouTube content. So maybe we'd send them there to continue nurturing that and then get them to book a call and then close as a client. So each of these uh, different points here, the opt-in, the VSL, um, the booked call can all be different uh, stages in your pipeline, but I would recommend keeping it as simple as possible. The major stages that a uh, lead takes to go from a lead to a conversion, whatever that looks like for your business, because when you define that, you're then going to adjust these uh, stages here in your pipeline. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if you want to create a new pipeline, first we're in deals in the left. And then at the top, you can click the drop down arrow. You can view other pipelines that you have created, and then you can add a pipeline here. You'll give the pipeline a name, select who you want to give access to. These are pre uh, predetermined permissions that you've set for each of your active campaign users. Select the default currency of this pipeline. And then you want to select the assignment method for your sales team. Um, if you choose manually assign, then that means it has to be set either via automation or by yourself. If you choose round robin, it will be automatically set to these users that you choose um, based on the number of deals. And then you can also do it by round robin deal value, which will distribute the deals by uh, total value per sales rep. And we have a video on that here if you want to dive into that a bit more. Um, so here, the last selection would be who do you want the deals distributed to? You can choose all users. You can choose um, you know, multiple users on your team. And then you'd hit add. I'm going to work here with this demo pipeline that we have. And we've got two contact, in contact, and follow up just to give you an idea of how everything works. Up in the top right, you can add additional stages. 
select the color, give the stage a name, just hit follow up, hit add. And in each stage, you can click the gear and then edit or delete the stage. When you click to edit, you can change the color, change the name, change the width of the column. You can select how it sorts the deals in the list. You can also select how it's sorted, either ascending or descending. And then you can adjust how the card appears. One of the nice things about Active Campaign's uh, pipeline feature, their, their CRM feature, is that it uses the click and drag uh, card feature for your deals. So I'll show you now by adding a deal, you can click plus add a deal, give the deal a title. Typically we'd use the name of the prospect and then product name. So we'd put something in here. We'll just say product X for an example. The deal has to have a value. Uh, even if it's marked as zero, we'll just leave it as 100. Select the pipeline that you want the deal to show up in. Select the stage that you want it to show up in as well. Select the deal owner. You can auto assign it based on the settings or you can select a team member. So I'll assign it to myself. Choose a forecasted close date. As we recommend in this video here, you do wanna choose a close date uh, because it'll impact your sales reporting. And that's what you can use to predict future revenue and then see based on the revenue that you have to actually close uh, how your sales team is performing. So we'll just say uh, a week from now, you can add a description to the deal. Then we're gonna put in the contact. So I'm just gonna add myself as an example and then hit add deal. And that'll pop up right in this stage here to contact. You can also click add a deal up here in the top right. You can import deals. We've got a video. If, you've, if you're moving over from another software, you can import your deals uh, using this button right here. Now that I have this card, as I mentioned, you can click and drag and move this card manually to change its stage. So your sales team can easily click and drag after they've contacted. Now they move it to in contact. When they're in follow-up, they can move it to follow-up. I'm just gonna delete this stage so there's no confusion. And you can also drag it up to mark the deal as one, drag it up to mark the deal as lost. Now we don't want to add uh, stages for one or lost because that kind of defeats the purpose of knowing in which stage in your pipeline, most deals are one or lost. You want to just leave the stages. If I go back here, you don't want to add an additional stage for one client one or uh, client lost necessarily um, because that would just show them as being won or lost in the one or lost columns. You want to know, uh, be able to identify which stage you're closing deals in or losing deals in. Once you have deals added to your pipeline, just to go back to our steps here, we've built out a, an initial pipeline. We've added a deal. You can now use the filters to view your deals. So we can sort by the deal owners, by the deal status. When you first add a deal, it's going to be, uh, the default is open and then you have won or lost. You can also sort by tags. And if you click into search deals and search all pipelines, you can use additional search features to find uh, the deal that you're looking for. You can also use additional filter settings when you're searching for deals to get even more granular with your deal search. Now, if I open up this deal, you'll see here the information that we have. This is the contact myself in this example, and I'm inside the specific deal for this contact. So I can click in just to show you. This is the overall personal information about this contact. And if I click all deals, I can go into the deal that I just created in this pipeline. From here, I can see open tasks. I can add a task. I can scroll down and see notes. I can add a note, any files that are attached, the email communication that we've had, all of the information related to the deal, the pipeline it's in, the stage it's in, its status, and recent activity for this deal. If you want to add a task, this is something that we commonly do to remind ourselves to follow up or remind ourselves of any information um, that's relevant to the status of the deal. Maybe we had communications with them and uh, they asked us to follow up or they said they would follow up after the holidays. You can add a task right up here. 
You can also add a file, delete the deal, or send an email directly to this contact. So I can add a task and we'll just say follow up. We'll say the task type is an email and I'll assign it to myself. We'll say the due date is on Monday and we'll just say uh, 9.30 a.m. Save task. Now I have a follow-up task reminder to follow up with this lead, with this deal. And if I go back to the pipeline, I can, I can view my tasks here by clicking the check mark. It'll show me my overdue tasks um, and then the tasks here that are scheduled as well, any upcoming as the date approaches. Very easy for you and your sales team to jump in and see what kind of tasks you have to complete to close more deals. So that is a summary of setting up your pipeline, creating a deal and using the deal CRM inside active campaign to take it one step further. We are typically going to automate our uh, sales and marketing processes as much as we can to free up our sales team to have more time to do what they do best. And that's building that relationship um, and, you know, helping customers uh, determine whether or not our products are a good fit for them. So if I go into our automations, And I go into this automation here. We have an entire video showing you how to build this out. But what this does is it creates a deal when someone subscribes to a list. And then for each of these goals, whenever someone takes an action, completed quiz, downloaded a PDF guide, adds a product to their cart, and then purchases, we're going to update the deal. So we've added it when they first subscribe to a list, whatever this looks like for you, whatever the initial a step is where you want to add a deal, whether it's booked a call, uh, filled out a form. This is where you're going to add the deal. And then for each action they take, each time they engage with your brand, you're going to move, uh, you're going to update the stage for that deal. So you can see it says here, move deal to stage. It's going to move it to the next stage, uh, completed quiz. This is going to move it to the stage, downloaded PDF guide. This is going to move it to the stage, product added to cart. And then we're going to update the deal status to one. So your sales team doesn't have to go in and do this. It's all going to be automated based on integrations and automations built out using Active Campaign. If you have any questions about this process, how to use the Active Campaign Deal CRM, uh, or how to get the most out of this for your sales team, we'd be happy to help you out. Just drop them in the comments below.